Hi everyone! Good day to you, whatever part of the day it is. My name's Olive and welcome! And I want to, uh, I'm going to be introducing a very special guest today and we're going to talk about how, um, how he affects everybody's lives. So just before that, I just want to introduce myself. My name's Olive and uh, welcome. So if you're joining me live, please type in your name down below and I'd love to hear from you and shout out to you. And if you're catching me on the replay, then type in replay and I'll chat with you later. So if I haven't met you before, my name's Olive Dodd and I'm on day 24 of a 30 day live Facebook challenge. So we are on the home stretch and today we're doing something different. So this is going to be very different and hopefully very entertaining for you and lots of good information. So, and I also have a business page full of healthy tips and today I'm on my personal page because this is a little bit different. So my special guest today, and I just have some interview questions here, it's a very important part of everybody's day-to-day uh, -day life. And it's very hard to imagine life without this guest and he has a very special job to do. So uh, we wanna know more about what keeps uh, this guest going, like how does he do it day after day after day? So I want to introduce you to The Hand. And here is The Hand, awesome. So Mr. Hand, you seem to be very busy all the time. And so, what do you do? Um, you see, I'm a, a hand, and um, I'm a hidden hand. My first name is Hidden because a lot of people don't see hands. They really see somebody's face, or when they're interacting with them, a lot of it is facial recognition. But a lot of your body language comes from me. Um, I can point at people. I can give you signals. I can do all kinds of things. That's my whole life. I love it. I love doing it. Sometimes I'm hidden. That's okay. All right. Thank you. And how do you communicate? Uh, I'm communicating right now. I'm being quite open. Um, I can tell somebody good things. Here in North America, it's a nice sign. In other places, it's not so nice. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay here. It's really good. I love communicating. A lot of it's visual, but... There's a tactile sense that I have too. Watch. <laughs> See? You can enjoy that. Maybe you don't enjoy it. But there's all kinds of senses that I have that I contribute to your perception of others. Wow. You are amazing. And so how do you um, stay healthy? Healthy? Well, I try to get lots of exercise. Like I type. Uh, I write lots. And typing gives me lots of dexterity. And strength moves, I often shovel, do those kinds of things. And then, of course, I try to get clean, nice clean nails. Oh, yes, clean nails. very nice. Yes. Sometimes when my hands get dried out, I use lotions um, or really good health products that rejuvenate the skin over my hand. Like plant-based uh, lotions. Are you trying for a, um, a plug here? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's fine. I do use those too. Whatever helps my skin and my nails to protect me and provide me with a good, solid body to communicate with, to express the emotions of my body, as well as interpret and help others with their bodies. Well, that's awesome. You are certainly very busy and you might have covered a little bit of this, but what do you do for exercise? Um, sometimes if I'm just sitting and my owner's kind of... Uh, idle, I'll tap my fingers, I'll drum. Ah. Sometimes that's annoying to the wife of my owner if I'm <laughs> tapping. So that's one exercise I do. Of course, exercise is just ordinary day-to-day -day living. I'm constantly talking to other people through my owner. I'm expressing things. He's talking and I'm saying things as well. Like, yeah, I really like this. Look at this over here. So all those things are communication. Awesome. Okay. And how are you nourished? A lot of it comes from my owner. What he eats affects me. His moods affect me because I express his moods. Uh, what else affects me? Oh, if I'm tired, 
Uh, my owner tends to be tired. If I'm kind of run down, he often just sits down. He doesn't really like it unless I'm energized. Ah, awesome. And do you have other friends that you hang out with? Actually, I have lots of friends and it's really nice. Some of us greet each other with big warm hugs. Um, do you have a hand? I do. Oh, here, let's, um, there, I'll show you. There's a nice warm hug. That's one, one way of one of my friends. Ah. That's the way we greet. Other times we maybe fist pump. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Hi, Barbara. You're actually on the live. Great to see you here. Oh, that's one of your friends. Yes. Maybe, are you able to hug that friend? I'm not sure. I think she lives quite far away. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, long distance relationships are hard, especially for hands. We like to touch each other. Mm, yes, you're very sensitive. We're sensitive, but also strong. We have a really good sense of touch by touching, excuse me, but I'm assuming I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> By touching you, I can really sense this, but I'm also very strong so that I can pick things up and it doesn't hurt me, but I'm really sensitive too. I can feel things. Okay. And I think you, you touched on this already. What other social connections do you have? Well, the first social connection was hugging friends. The other social connection is visual signals to other hands and people. So I can tell them that, yay, everything's okay, it's great, A1, or, man, I'm really, really worried about this. I really express what the owner wants. Okay. Or come over here, come and talk to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And do you have any visions or inspirations for the future? Hmm. I want to grow old with my owner and help others around me. So often I give them a nice encouraging pat on the shoulder, or maybe I give them a nice caress on the cheek if it happens to be my owner's wife. <laughs> a nice hello to a friend or to a stranger. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and so do you have any tips for other hands? Uh, I really like it when the nails are clean. My nails are clean and other um, hands' nails are clean. I really like it when we have a nice firm handshake when we greet each other. It says, hey, I really like you. I really like what you do. Awesome. Well, that's great. This has been very interesting. I am so happy that you have joined us today. And so I just have a little joke for you. Oh, I love jokes. Okay. So what has five fingers, but is not your hand? One, two, three, four, five, but it's not my hand. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's my hand. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I thank you very much, Mr. Hand, today. Thank you. And so if you know of any hands out there, treat them with love and respect. They truly deserve the very best for all the good that they do in the world. Okay, and so that's it for me today. If you've enjoyed uh, learning more about Mr. Hand and the value of them and a little bit more about the insight into their life, then please write down Hand Valuable. Uh, that would be really awesome. And so that's it for me today. This has been very different and hopefully a little bit amusing and I hope I've brought a smile to your face. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> I'm glad I made you laugh. And that's what the purpose of today was. So we'll see you tomorrow and you have a beautiful rest of the day or evening, whatever part of the day it is for you in the world. Okay, bye for now. Bye, Mr. Hand. <laughs>